guys, my name is Brian520 and I am indeed back at you with another video. I didn't mean to sound so like classy like that, but whatever. And right now, I I don't know if any of you guys do this, but I've seen people and they collect pop figures. And I have a couple of my own, about eight, and I would like, or nine, and I'd like to show them to you guys. And I'm gonna go from when I got them. So the first one I got to the last one I got. So the first pop figure I got was the Power Armor Fallout 4 and it has the Gauss rifle. And yeah. If you guys don't know what pop figure I, figures are, since this one doesn't, ha, doesn't have a helmet, you can't see, but they're little dudes and they have black eyes, all black, and they're like little figures that you can have. They're not bobbleheads, but you can still move their heads around and yeah my second one was vault boy fallout 4 i think a couple of i think a couple of mine actually are from fallout 4 oh wait this is the last one never mind and yeah thought he thought he was kind of cool since like everything the vault is all about him. There's posters of him, your vats, and I actually have a, a vats poster over here with all the power ups. You can't see it that well, but yeah. So, he's the guy in all the vats. Why am I saying vats? I meant like skill levels. Vault Tech. And yeah, he's basically like kind of a mascot, but I wouldn't really say that. Next, we have Draco Malfoy. I really didn't buy this, just my mom got this like library thing, I forgot, and it came with a free one. And I was like, yeah, screw it, and I'm collecting them. Why don't I just get it? And yeah. So if you don't know who Draco Malfoy is, actually every time I have a pop figure, I'm gonna explain where they're from. And if you don't know, I'll tell you. Yeah, so the other ones, these two, are from Fallout 4. And Fallout 4 is a game where it's like a post-apocalyptic with uh, mutated monsters because it was a nuke and yeah you can get that armor and he's he's not even a person he's just like the mascot kind of and Draco Malfoy is from Harry Potter he's kind of like Harry Potter's like like not nemesis but like he's like mean to him so I can kind of say enemy but he doesn't really attack him that much but but if you don't know what Harry Potter is, then where have you been living? Harry Potter is a series with magic, wands, stuff like that. Up next, this is from Suicide Squad. If you don't know that movie, it didn't come out that long ago, actually. It's a movie about the Joker, Harley Quinn, I'm trying to name all of them, I probably don't know. Deadshot, Killer Croc. And I think there's one more that I'm forgetting, but whatever. So this is a Suicide Squad Killer Croc. It has like a jacket and like the Suicide Squad jacket. I don't know if it's a Suicide Squad, but whatever. It looks kind of cool. I've never seen the movie. But yeah, you, like it, it skin's weird. It's all scaly. You can feel it. And yeah. Next, I got this Superman dude. I don't know if, I think he might be from the, the old ones. And if you don't know who Superman is, he, he's he's probably one of the most well-known superheroes besides like Spider-Man and Batman and stuff like that. But he's he has super strength, laser eye vision. And I think he has ice breath or he might just have breath that's really powerful. But he's basically Superman because he gets his energy from the sun and he's really powerful. But yeah. And here's one, which is Batman with a surfboard. To be honest, I didn't get it too until my dad told me it was from the classic TV show where Batman and Joker had a surf off. And I thought it sounded horrible. And my dad said it, it wasn't really that good. So yeah, I think the mask looks kind of cool. But yeah. Next, I got this Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's, 
And if you don't know what that is, it's a really popular game. Well, it, not a lot of people play it anymore. I think it's like a dead game now. But it's it's made by this guy named Scott Cawthon. And it's basically a horror game where all these animatronics, so this is like a robot dressed up to look like a bear, comes and haunts you in your office and you're trying to defend yourself from them. So yeah, it's pretty this is another one from Five Nights at Freddy's, and he is Springtrap, and Springtrap is basically a purple guy. If you do not know what that is, then I suggest you search it up, but it's him, and he got trapped in the suits, the Springlock suit, that's why, he called, that's why he's called Springtrap, and that's why his eyes are, look kind of weird, because they're bulging out. I don't know if you've seen that, um, the gif, but he pops his head out of the suit. I think it's in the actual game, like, too. But, yeah. I think, I, in my personal opinion, I think he's one of the creepiest animatronics in the game. It's, e you're easy, it's easy to defend him, but he's kind of creepy. Last but not least, we have a World of Warcraft guy. I completely forgot his name. And if you don't know what World of Warcraft is, uh, it used to be a game where... It what is a game where you fight has like warriors. I've never played the game and I don't I have not really seen it, so I think it's about like warriors and you fight and stuff. But yeah, they're making. I think I don't know if they made it yet or they're still making it, but they're I I, I think they're making like a movie or something. But I thought he looked kind of cool because he's got a bunch of heavy duty stuff. Well, anyway, that's all my pop figures. And if you like if you like this video, go ahead and dr drop a like and subscribe for more videos. Bye.